Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Please know that everything said in this video is alleged and it's my very own personal opinion. So y'all, I'm back with a part two to the video that I did last night about Maurice threatening to sue Miss Black Titanic for the video that she posted about him allegedly having criminal charges and allegedly currently being on probation for 10 years because of it. Now he didn't name any names as far as the blogger that he was talking about, but I know that it's Miss Black Titanic because she is the one okay that reported on a maurice scott now we all know how maurice luther king likes to try to make everybody believe that he's this clean and stand-up guy who does no wrong and i didn't already told y'all that i didn't believe that shit. and after what i just came across this morning i want to say that it's always good when you go with your instincts okay as you already know i stand with miss black titanic and will help her in any way that i can go against maurice if need be because i do not feel that she did anything wrong the scots have a habit of trying to shut people up when their troops are being revealed okay but that shit ain't gonna work and this is a fine example as to why all content creators should stick together so that we can come in numbers when clowns like maurice and his brothers try to silence us okay the truth of the matter is that Miss Black Titanic did a report on a Maurice Jefferson Scott five months ago about this same shit. Maurice said in the video that he did yesterday that his middle name was Jefferson. Okay? Raise your hand if you saw documents that he filed suing Miss Black Titanic five months ago when she first reported on this. No hands? Okay. I believe that's because we all know it didn't happen. I'm going to leave the link to Miss Black Titanic's video that she did on Maurice. I'm going to leave it up under this video in the pinned comment section, okay? Y'all, please go and check it out and run them numbers up because y'all need to see it. Miss Black Titanic reported on a Maurice Jefferson Scott five months ago. This Maurice Jefferson Scott was 45 years old, black male, born in 1978, Okay and it listed his alleged relatives okay and one of those alleged relatives was kimberly lorraine grant okay okay but to get into what miss black titanic was saying about the criminal history of this maurice jefferson scott okay that she was reporting on the criminal history included violation of probation in 2005 in which he was found guilty in 2002 unlawful possession another charge okay uh, possession with intent to manufacture and distribute and he was found guilty on that as well there was a traffic violation a charge for disturbing the peace possession of marijuana and he was found guilty on that um unlawful possession several times there was like 12 charges on his ass i believe and you know guilty 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 most of them okay criminal history very extensive this is the criminal history of the maurice jefferson scott that miss black titanic reported on now for legal purposes i have to say that this is all alleged but i believe wholeheartedly now that the maurice that miss black titanic reported on is the maurice scott that we unfortunately see on the show okay now if this is the same maurice on the show why would he get his ass online and say that he has no criminal history outside of a citation or a, a, you know a, a traffic ticket i'll tell you why i believe he did it it has been brought to my attention that maurice's extensive criminal history was expunged sometime this year this is what i've been told and i wholeheartedly believe it so if this is true that would explain why he got his ass online yesterday saying that he has no criminal history which would be because he feels like since his record was expunged, the crimes were never committed. In my opinion, y'all, before I even came across what I came across this morning, I said in my video last night about Maurice that what he was doing was probably what Martel had done. Martel had said in an interview or wherever it was that he had never been arrested before. And we all know that that's a lie because we didn't seen the mugshot. We didn't see Martel's mugshot, the criminal report about him being caught in a car with walkie-talkies on the day he decided to take off work to help assist in an ATM robbery. We saw all that. So it baffled me as to how he could say that he had never been arrested when there was proof out there. Okay. But what it was, was that male, in my opinion, and from what I was told, helped him to get his record sealed or expunged. I can't remember the term for it, but I guess Martel thought that just because his criminal record was sealed, that it never existed. No, sir, you are still a fucking criminal. And I believe that the same, I believe the same thing. Okay. 
when it comes to Maurice. I believe that Maurice is a criminal and is trying to keep the content creators from talking about it because his record has allegedly been expunged. That is my belief. So now he has threatened the person who reported on him because he does not want folks to know about what I believe is his criminal history, in my opinion. Okay. Now there's always a chance that this could be, this couldn't be what I think it is, but y'all know me. Okay. I'm only going to bring it to you if I feel that I am 99.999% right. Okay. So y'all take that and do what you will with it. So I'm hoping that Miss Black Titanic keep that video up. And if Marceau tries to, if uh, Maurice tries to sue her, which I'm thinking he won't be stupid enough to do because in my heart, I believe that he is the Maurice that Miss Black Titanic reported on. And wouldn't be able to prove otherwise okay but i will personally help her retain a lawyer and other content creators will too in my opinion i just know that everybody will pitch in because miss black titanic works hard to get us the information that he, you know that she gets us and it would be only right to stand behind her and assist her in any way that we can okay to threaten a senior citizen is just ridiculous and it speaks volumes about his character, even though he wanted to get online and say that he's proud of his reputation. Y'all, I had to come back and do this video because he got up in that post that he made yesterday in that big ass suit thinking that he was doing something and wasn't doing nothing but lying, in my opinion, just like the others on the show. He's supposed to be such a good lawyer, but he consulting with a TV show producer about what to do. Okay. When it comes to a content creator who was allegedly putting out false information, a good lawyer would have asked her to remove the video immediately, okay? Not consult with a TV show producer, okay? He would have asked her to remove it immediately and not have given her two weeks to do it. Maurice is a joke, in my opinion, and I'm here to prove just how much of a joke I think he is. If anything, okay? that has been said about him was not true. I feel that he would have been took this shit to court. Cause like I said, this shit was put out about him over five months ago. The most recent report was that he was allegedly placed on probation for 10 years back in 2021. Everything that Miss Black Titanic reported on, I believe it. I believe that he is the Maurice that she reported on because she showed the document where it said Maurice Jefferson Scott. And he just said that his name was Maurice Jefferson Scott. And so there you have it. This is my opinion on the matter and I'm entitled to it. Maurice and the rest of his brothers think that they are just so fucking smart. And I feel that he honestly think that he can just get this shit to go away by treat, you know, by threatening a senior citizen with a lawsuit. How you got enough money to sue, but not enough money to pay your taxes though. Carlos, get these clowns off the show because we don't want to see them. They bring absolutely nothing but criminal history, lawsuits, brokenness, brokenness, lies, lies, and more lies, okay? You should be ashamed of yourself for even allowing these motherfuckers on the show and trying to disguise them as upstanding citizens who represent black excellence, okay? When they don't know nothing about it. And that's going to be all for this video. Y'all take care and I will chat with y'all in the next one.